So Chelsea, obviously, um, are making a big, 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 big U10. U10 that nobody expected. And um, it's on the back of about three reasons it's in a Chelsea make it a U10 way um, on the back of their player. And it's a U10 on the possible sale of a branch of your friend, Conor Gallagher. So Obekaya, Chelsea, throughout last season, one of the big issues in our cap, and they said, Chelsea felt that they had to sell some players be, um, to raise revenue. And I've come to explain why I say, say and yet revenue and SAB are uh, somewhere here, like saying a Sky for report here. Sky reporter from Sky was wrong. Chelsea didn't have to sell to meet um, FFP uh, or PSR requirements by the end of this month. No, that's not what Chelsea were, had to do. Chelsea were only selling because almost next year, 2025, 2020, 2024, 2025, um, summer, just so that they can have enough on their books, which is very, very important. In It's in the light of the commercial conversation that Chelsea are having, with their players that they're having the entity Chelsea are making a big U10 on a brand new friend corner Gallagher and even apart from that also Chelsea a new deal a new deal listen to what I'm saying well a new deal for most French shirt front shirt sponsorship now uh, when it comes to 2024 2025 season uh, I'll get into that for you I'll give you the explainer why this is a new deal why um one other company ain't mean by so this is Fifi Manfred on YouTube Fifi Manfred on YouTube so subscribe here do well right now pause the video go back subscribe to the channel and turn on notification again important part so you go back subscribe to the channel and then you turn on notification do so now fifi manfred youtube fifi manfred youtube fifi manfred youtube fifi manfred tax car analysis go back subscribe to the channel and then um let us have a very very good conversation of everything that's going on with chelsea football club so um let's start it like this and um of course, your transfer conversation, transfer season, in team. We'll have a very, very good conversation um, about the transfers in the So, First one, it's about Kaelin Lutoni Mbappe. Now, uh, it's now been official. So, on the 16th of July, on the 16th of July, Real Madrid, uh, led by their club president, Florentino Perez, are going to unveil our brand dear friend, Kaelin Lutoni Mbappe. Kaelin Luton Mbappe. Real Madrid, on the 16th of July, um, which is right after the Euros, no, they are going to unveil a brand new friend, Kylian Antonio Mbappe. Obviously, uh, they would hope say France or Spain, most especially, can go very, very far in the Euros. So after that, they can unveil Kylian Antonio Mbappe as the next big thing at Real Madrid. For Madrid, Udrey Onoma, the biggest contention of what and NSA, Kylian Antonio Mbappe unveiling, you know, the biggest one that has been there for time immemorial has been the Cristiano Ronaldo and Villain. I brought Cristiano Ronaldo, AV, Manchester United, about Real Madrid. No, it was a big, big on Villain. Um, so Ocean the Yana crowd no honor. The crowd that waited for Cristiano Ronaldo. And what of course in the net last few years, Ronaldo no honor, what it turned into a, it tells you how big of a player that he was. I don't know if Mbappe can beat the crowd that um Cristiano Ronaldo Nyaye before he became he was unveiled as Real Madrid player. In there, it's going to be a big one in the Madrid on the 16th of July. Eben Ville, Kylian Luton Mbappe. Of course, um, he's a huge superstar. Madrid Mbappe has said in the last few hours, said for him, his dream is to win a Ballon d'Or. That's his focus, and I think I've said it here several times. Said for Kylian Luton Mbappe, it's about what Madrid gives to him, not what he gives to Real Madrid. And I believe strongly that Madrid gives him that platform. Madrid gives him that pedestal. Madrid gives him that extra notch to go on and fight for, to be a real Ballon d'Or contender. Um, at Paris Saint-Germain, without the Ballon, without the UCL, he was never there. Yeah, Real Madrid, even without the UCL, he's a notch closer to winning, a, being a Ballon d'Or winner. And Kylian Luton Mbappe is going to join the best club in Europe as it stands now. Real Madrid, um, good football, champions, the perennial champions annual champions consistently they are winning back to back to back and they are going to get killing luton mbappe and that's exactly what we are going to talk about um oh wait no we're speaking about killing luton mbappe and um that's exactly what real madrid are seeking to do there's one thing that's very very apparent that um we've not spoken about now a lot of the clubs say what you do i express the interest in athletic global winger chelsea inclusive chelsea arsenal manchester united manchester city to an extent um, the kid brother of Inaki Williams, a friend of Nico Williams, in there. Um, he has been earmarked by a lot of the teams. Chelsea, for one, have looked at Nico Williams for a very large extent. They feel said for a winger, he has that ability to do that 1v1, 1v1 threat from outright 
also able to cut in and then find the top corners, get you goals. The creative winger that Chelsea have needed, they also have efficiency up front. You know? They believe that Nico Williams is the guy. Chelsea, for a long time, have always looked at a brand new friend in Nico Williams. Now, after this morning, the story of John Duran and how everything has unfolded about John Duran, now this is the thing with Nico Williams. Nico Williams has told his agent and any interaction they should not negotiate with any other club no club uh club bnu wants he wants to talk to them apart from barcelona he has said that barcelona and a choice to go and nico williams only wants to join fc barcelona is ready to reject offer bia and their stories agent said they should go ahead and reject every other offer and then wait for the barcelona offer as to if said Barca and then Athletic Bilbao can strike a deal. The Bucks club and then Barcelona can strike a deal to get Nico Williams over there. That's a conversation for another day. But Nico Williams obviously has told his entourage, has told his agents, has told his family that he wants FC Barcelona alone um, as his next move as a player. So that's the way Nico Williams, Nico Williams, Nico Williams, a um, very, very good footballer in that regard in there. So whilst Mbappe will be, will be unveiled by Real Madrid on the 16th of July, then there's going to be Nico Williams possibly going to Barcelona. I don't know how that's going to be, but Nico Williams is a very, very good friend of, 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 of Lamin Yamal, and they are going to be good partners if he moves in there uh, in terms of the player and what he gives to them. Manchester United obviously are keeping Eric Ten Hag, and not and yes, yeah, Ten Hag is a good manager. They're only keeping him because before Ten Hag, before say Omo Kipi Abrantia, before say um, Omo Kwako Shea a replacement for Ten Hag, he didn't get anybody suitable to be the next manager for FC Manchester United. Now, the news of John Duran has come. And in Kofobe way, Chelsea fans are divided along false lines. Serious false lines, very sharply. And and it, there's been a need for me to explain why. And my kind of several times I asked, he said, for me, I don't fancy John Duran. Not because EBI is, is a bad player. But one, because I don't think I've watched enough of him in the Premier League. He has, played, he has started just three games in the Premier League. Um, two, I think that the kind of strikers that Chelsea wanted, you know, John Duran is a little bit lower on the pecking order. But there can be some reasons why a lot of people may choose John Duran. So John Duran, obviously, a Colombian striker. Um, he's a striker. He started as a winger. Then his academy coach felt said, for a player of his caliber or very good mobility, he is very good in terms of ball striking and finishing. And Makachi said that's the biggest strength of our brand friend John Duran. Hence, they should take him from outward and come and play him central. And when he came central, the physical attributes, the finishing ability, and then the knack for goals, the eye for goals, has been very, very good. Apparently, when he was young, he used to watch strikers, which is Lukaku, um, Didier Drogba, and uh, Robert Lewandowski. When his old age, when his young age, when he's coming, you see. Apart from every other thing, or one of the things that is very, very important, and he said, John Duran is a Colombian, and I've said this several times. Say, South Americans are very, very tenacious. They don't stop coming until they've got him what they want. John Duran knows that Chelsea is a notch higher where he wanted to go, and people believe say, yes, John Duran is not a finished article in it. But he's the next big thing in terms of a next big striker. I'll be thinking about Yase. That's why Chelsea want to go in and get him. The reasons are there. Short um, striking, the ball striking ability, and then enough for goals, the conversion rates on our show. In terms of data, it fits it. Again, they feel say, although they're very physical. On Tissa Obi Tissa Oshimea, he is physical, but on Munisa mobility. They believe say, for John Duran, he is physical, but he's also mobile. Can move from the wide areas, come into centrally, go to the left drop and come and play the football which i don't think it is an easy achievement of john duran but that's why the chelsea fans they believe that this is something that can help him when it comes to sean for come and play again for me i may have my discontent and my disbelief of a brand friend john duran but i would i would not forget say a brand of chelsea got to a brand friend called palmer called palmer had just started three games in manchester city he didn't have the numbers to back the craft that he had but I think the Chelsea sporting directors now have done enough in recent times to prove that they are a very, very good crop of sporting directors who can get the best out of their market. Indeed, if they still insist on going for John Durana, yes, 40 million is a lot. Chelsea still have a writer for the David Datro for Fana, who is still there, um, who hasn't still left the club, and, and there's Nicolas Jackson. I'm thinking that there's no need to spend any money as a stance now. Stick with the players that you have, hold on to them, go into the season. Um, 
in Kuku, um, um, Nicholas Jackson, any Abrantia, your friend Ulisi. When you get him, it's a good player to go for it. Yes, while John Duran is a very good striker, I don't think he's a striker that takes Chelsea from the sixth position to the third position. And that's the kind of signing that we're expecting that the centre forward position will give Chelsea. But um, Chelsea isn't going to get that as it stands down. And then um, they would have to go on and find a proper replacement. So if it's John Duran, we'll see how that goes. And in terms of data, very, very important player from the data and analytic point of view in there. Chelsea and make here a big U turn on our branch here, my friend Conor Gallagher. Big U turn on our branch here, friend Conor Gallagher. And make a show. Say, Chelsea were looking for money. And the money was 2024, 20, 2025. In a hurry. But the big problem is that Nitya Chelsea are making a big U turn on a branch of friend Conor Gallagher is a simple job. The first job, the first thing they say, if you look at Conor, Conor, you play a player, he's a Cobham player. He's on a Cobham, Chelsea Academy. Now, there be a born a born a Obviously, he has a lot of suitors, and Chelsea don't want him to go for free. Now, Chelsea for a book, Conor Gallagher. Not Conor Gallagher group a contract extension, but Chelsea feel that they may want to sell him. Until there's no need to give him an extension. Now, mind you, I got one season of Conor Gallagher contract, and in January 2025, a branch of Conor will be legally free to negotiate with other teams. Now, that is the reason. The reason why Chelsea are making a U-turn on Conor Gallagher is simple: the contract is getting to the final year, and in any contract's final year, be enough six months to go. The player has every right to negotiate with any club. For him to go there at the end of the season. And you see, Chelsea are trying to very, very hard to safeguard and get Conor Gallagher, tie him down. So in 2025, 2026, they may possibly say if there's a good purchase comes out, they may sell Conor Gallagher to whoever comes. So um, yes, very, very good player. Of course, it gives Conor also the opportunity to so be proving a home to the new manager Enzo Maresca. But Totino felt that he was a good player. If Maresca also comes in and believes he's honestly a good player there, then definitely. Chelsea are going to have it a very tough time to say it's okay then. Two managers are coming. We still want to sell Conor Gallagher. The sporting directors will have to accept and then keep our brand here friend Conor Gallagher. So Chelsea are making a very, very, very big U10. Oh, I'm a player, a friend of Conor Gallagher. So for him to stay at Chelsea Football Club in them. Now, Platigo. Now, Platigo is with his argument. I am a lot of conversation about in the Chelsea space. Do you Chelsea? I was a Chelsea for no air can't seem be brief and it's a little bit confusing. Now, I see my play to go back and say Bayern are still in contact with Levi Kowal and the players and Toraj. Now, that's exactly what they say. Say Bayern team, you know, they are still in a negotiation, they are still talking to them, so they can convince Levi Kowal to come. Now, this is it Levi Kowal has signed a signing contract extension. Levi, any plans will be for Chelsea Football Club. Or oh, appreciate it. Set by and for a contact on the no currency by motion, especially from Coach Von and Company. And mind you, Levi Koh, you play here, he's appreciated by a lot of the clubs in Europe. Last season, before Sober signed a contract extension, Liverpool wanted him badly until Chelsea money to get him sign a contract extension. In the new news, Sep let it go report this idea. Now, but at Chelsea, the analysis is that. There is no issue between a branch of friend Levi Cole and NHLC. No problems. Club not in himself. Two left footed centre backs who Mukita they have the potential of becoming world class. Hey, a branch of friend Benoit Belashile and Levi Cole. Natural left footed centre backs. In the Omo Nyoma Dinda. So I'm better on a branch of friend Levi Cole. Omo Sansu Nyoma Dinda. In the Levi Cole point of view, Levi Cole only has Dinda so I'll be free on. In fact, Oblivi say under the new manager Enzo Mareska, it's an opportunity for him to grow and get better, given everything that he has had. And I said, projects now watch us, we're not one man, two players for anything. So even if the likes of Bayern, Mokan Bubana, they don't really seem enthused. So yes, Bayern are talking to Conor Gallagher, but nothing, nothing, nothing is concrete in there um, to go in there and say, say, I brand here, Conor Gallagher before. And Chelsea have said, say, he is not for sale. Conor Gallagher and yet for sale, according to Chelsea Football Club. And then he's going to be in there for Chelsea Namiya Duma next season. Next season is going to be in there. Okay. Now, the final bit of the conversation. So, a couple of months ago, um, Chelsea contract extension now how many uh, Chelsea contract how many infinite athletes on French chess on this one. It was just for a year. And the whole last season, they said, Nanka Chelsea beat me up the old day on how many stability can try. Chelsea have gotten stability. Even in terms of sporting wise, Chelsea have gotten some sporting successes. Senebeanka, they can go on and then go and uh, get a better contract with a different company. <clears throat> Makacho said, 
infinite athletes now. Any company be a keke. Ton Boli, Baghdad, Bali, Jose Feliciano, Clear League, and any Blue League. They are they are cool companies. They are, they are friends. I'm one of them. Most subsidiaries in any team, any company, friend. Um, infinite athletes. So it's money that they expect that Chelsea would get from elsewhere. It's time of season ending. In final, the Bacoro handle on Twitter and he came to tweet, say a good end of the season, end of contract for between Omo and Chelsea. Then quickly, they did a U-turn and said, deleted that tweet and said, oh, then they are continuing with Chelsea and they want to be with Chelsea. Now, this is the truth. Let me uncover it for you. First of all, not saying that make a Next, Chelsea plan, you know, and say, so Ocean, you are clearly for no year. Now, Ocean, you are infinite athletic for no year. They believe that by the end of the season, they will get more stability. They can go onto the market and convince more companies to come and take up the Chelsea job. It is no one believes strongly said that can happen. Now, one of the key people that are not going to be someone over here, Juma, a Riyadh Air, Riyadh Air, a South Saudi Arabia for national car carrier, and it's a very very good company. But the problem is that Riyadh Air, with the issues that's going on in the Middle East near the Adrian, they've not resumed. They are not on. They are not doing. They are not having operations. Almost issues in terms of picking people from Jed and Nissan and Maniamano. It's an international airline in the ASA, man. So, we had air have their issues. And you see, next to the phone, you share somewhere around 60 million pounds and a base car and can react air for the Bromo assistance. Now. Because Russia, react air for the NSA, they wanted to find a club in the English United. They want to get into the European market. Mind you, Riyadh air has some form of agreement with team and friend Atletico de Madrid and then they are in there with him. Chelsea started with Oman Air, and this cannot be about any enough. And then they went ahead to go and meet with um, Riyadh Air for them. Now, and let's go to Madrid is there. Chelsea wants to do a Riyadh Air deal, but the operations are as a Riyadh Air for a year, day to day operations, no, isn't coming. And Chelsea seriously has a commercial value of the club. So, being a Mosca from commercials and sponsorship, which is very, very important. And Riyadh Air for the Epic Company Premier League for the but all of the Premier League top six class in here are multiple deals or sponsorships with other people. And that's the reason why Chelsea are my first choice as a stance now. And Chelsea in him, Piffy said, so far as they are always going to go just year, year, year with Athletic, um, Infinite Athletic now. They are definitely going to get a chance to react uh, about for them to move there and then do their job and then make sure say, they are going to uh, uh, be their sponsors. So, say, Infinite Athletic about this time the money may go up because they will put Infinite Athletic on the front and also on the sleeves. For Chelsea Football Club, where possible, say Infinite Athletes, be another short term solution as it stands now. Once again, 2024 2025 season, Infinite Athletes, everybody, um, so um, so as not to block red air. So, I'm buying a 2025 2026 season like Mikai. You know. Additional during this transition period, red air may become a club's official global airline partner as Oman Air was recently. The end of Mikai, you know. um, they may go into it with um, Telemony Oman Air for the you know, to be the official airline partner. But in all in it all, they are going to make sure say they are there in 2025-2026. Riyadh um, Air is going to come on board as Chelsea for front check sponsor, which is very, very important. It's infinite air for infinite athlete for doing a 43 million one year front check sponsorship. They may come on the skis as well. Several rounds of negotiations are possible between Riyadh Air and FA League um, due to the class financial requirement. Chelsea is cut for about 60 million to make actually for Riyadh Air. The class project is seen as developing. But currently, it is not able to guarantee success on the pitch at the start, of course, set any success in the eyes of Chelsea. Chelsea have high expectations of 15 million of a franchise sponsorship and 15 million for city sponsorship, which is a barrier, which is a barrier for entry. Chelsea, a piece capa in terms of to maximize the franchise deal you know, to make sure they have enough um, to come in and then do the negotiations in there. Chelsea, any club, any company be your friend in um incorporation cherry automobile and sweden common they spoke with also banks uh our home at some point in time and they all looking at these people to come and be the sleeve shirt sponsors at our chelsea football club it's money very very important so we now he started with jordan i'm saying compared the jordan uh, brand you know uh, but the deal and then the talks are finally collapsed and chelsea are not going to do that this season um of course chelsea Air share so many years can be bring and about this season, you know, and then it's gonna be a 2025 summer of 2024 2025. You no, know, they won't have any issues with FFP and then the PSR. Ah, and then we're around crying. Oh, and yeah, this is Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Thank you very much. So, subscribing now. What you show share the link.